I have a hair care tutorial demo review explanation <laughs> video for you. So this video was highly requested by my friends and family who see me in person regularly. I have fairly long hair, so my hair goes down to about the bottom of my rib cage. Um, and typically I'm very good at maintaining healthy hair. So I try to keep the split ends to a minimum. I like to have my hair looking shiny and fresh. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys how I achieved that. Just a little bit of backstory on my hair. It is color treated, as you can tell. So my roots have grown out just a little bit. But I do get highlights and sometimes lowlights pretty much every 8 to 12 weeks. Um, my hair is naturally pretty straight. Um, it does have a bit of a wave to it if I let it air dry, um, but it does get a little bit poofy as well. So I definitely have to use some products and some tools in order to maintain the shininess and the sleekness of my everyday hairstyle. Um, so that's kind of what my hair is like. I do only wash my hair once every other day, sometimes every third day. It did take me a very long time to adjust to that type of lifestyle. I used to wash my hair every single day. Um, and since I stopped and I switched to every other day, every third day, my hair is actually so much more healthy. So in this video, I'm going to show you the tools that I use, the products that I use on wet and dry hair, and also what I do on my in-between days as well. So you're going to see the whole shebang here. <laughs> um, I also have a tutorial on how I curl my hair. I'll leave that in the comment in uh, the description box down below. But this is going to be my typical like everyday straight hair. All right, well let's get started. So first I like to wash my hair, of course, in the shower. So you can see here my shower. Now right now I am using the Matrix Bylage Shampoo and Conditioner, the Color Care version. I do not have a particular shampoo or conditioner that I love. I just kind of use whatever's on sale. So I use this right now, switching off with my blue shampoo. Now this is a secret weapon to any color treated blonde. This really helps to eliminate any brassiness that you see poking through your hair. So I like to switch this with my regular, my standard shampoo and conditioner on and off and then my third rotation is my clarifying shampoo do not skip this step this is so so important this really gets rid of all that gunk and build up and back up and sweat and dirt and dry shampoo product that's left in your hair it is very drying though so I do have to follow up with a deep repair hair mask so this is the macadamia deep Hair repair mask I love this stuff I've talked to you guys about it before it's my holy grail um, I put this in my hair, leave it in for about seven minutes, and then rinse out. It leaves my hair so soft, so smooth, and it smells amazing. Now, time for the products. So, I usually let my hair sit in a towel for about five to ten minutes. And then I take the towel out and just kind of brush through with my fingers to get any of those big snarls out. Then I go in with my actual hair products. So I use three products daily. I use a leave-in conditioner, a hair oil, and a blow-dry spray. So right now my leave-in conditioner is It's a 10. I love, love, love this stuff. I know I've talked about it before. But basically I go in and I spray it all throughout my hair. No rhyme or reason. Just kind of brushing with my fingers as I go to make sure there's no tangles left. This stuff leaves my hair so soft and so smooth. Then I go in with a hair oil. Right now I'm using the Oro Fluidio. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> hair oil. Now this stuff smells so good. It smells like vanilla. I love it, love it, love it. I put it in at about ponytail length down. And this really leaves my hair so, so, so shiny. Then I go in with a hairbrush. Now this is my wet brush. I highly recommend this brush to anybody with long or thick hair or anybody really. Um, you can see I start at the bottom and work my way up to my roots and I just kind of briskly brush through it. This brush is so soft and so gentle. I really think it's a big part of why I don't have any split ends. So check out that brush if you've never used it before. Again, that's the wet brush. Then I go in with my blow dry spray. So this is the Kenra blow dry mist, another product I've ranted and raved about. So this stuff I love because it speeds up my blow dry time. But in addition to that, it is it smells really good. Uh, but be careful, it is really slippery. Um, so if you have a tile floor, it might leave your floor kind of slippery. Now it's time for blow drying. So I have a Chi blow dryer. Honestly, I think you can use any blow dryer. But I use this coinciding with a paddle brush. 
So I have no rhyme or no reason to my blow dry technique. I know some people like to kind of tip their head upside down and get under it. I really don't. I just kind of spray all around from roots to tips. Not really focusing on any part of my hair too, too long. I don't want to fry it. By the way, I do let my hair kind of air dry as long as possible before I go in with the blow dryer just to kind of eliminate any of that heat damage that's not necessary. After it's all dry, I go in with my paddle brush one more time and kind of brush out all those tangles, make sure everything is nice and smooth. Then I go in with a hair straightener. So this is the Chi hair straightener. Um, I like this because it heats up really fast, but basically I just kind of briskly brush through my hair with a straightener, not focusing on any part for too long. I don't want to burn anything. But this really just adds that extra step of shine and smoothness. It gets rid of any flyaways, any frizz, any poofiness. And then I brush it out, and voila, that's day one. So day two is when I go in with my dry shampoo. So this is the Batiste dry shampoo. This is another product that I've ranted and raved about. I love this stuff. So what I do is I go in with my nice messy uh, bed hair <laughs> and spray that product all over my roots. So I focus a lot on the crown of my hair, the front of my hair, anywhere that I see the most and that I think looks the most oily. So I spray all around. Oh, this product ran out. <laughs> so I had to grab a new bottle. But there you go, just kind of spraying all around anywhere that is oily, focusing mostly on the roots of my hair. And then you go in with your fingers and just kind of shake it out, just like you would if you're using an actual shampoo in the shower. So shake, shake, shake. Then go in with a hairbrush and brush it all out. Finally, I go in with my hair straightener uh, one more time. So this is just to get any of the ponytail kinks or kind of dips or snarls in my hair out. And voila, that's day two. So for day three, I do not like to use my straightener. I like to kind of give my hair a break from the heat. So I like to do some kind of style. Here I'm doing just a messy bun. I have not perfected the sock bun yet, so I just do a regular bun. But there you go, you can see just a big messy bun, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And sometimes I'll also do a side braid. Uh, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day. Um, so these styles are really great because you don't have to use the hair straightener or any kind of heat actually. It gives your hair a nice break from all the heat and craziness going on. So there's my day three hairstyles. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. So just so you guys know, I am not a professional hairstylist. I have never been a professional hairstylist. I don't have any kind of training or anything like that. I do know that everybody's hair is a little bit different. Everybody takes care of their hair a little bit differently. This is just what I have found works best for me. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll definitely try to help you. Um, I don't know if this will work for your hair. I'm hoping that it will, but I wanted to show you anyway. Alright guys, well that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions for me, please leave those in the comment section down below. I would really like it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys. Bye.